Hey guys, testing out the wool Mackinac cap I'll be reviewing in a bit. It looks pretty awesome with all of its shearling glory. Made in the U.S. with imported materials. Of course, this only imported part is this uh, liner here. The rest, I think, is all made in the U.S. Uh, obviously, wool from Woolrich or Pendleton shearling. And wool on the outside, but we'll do a more in-depth review here in the future. But uh, today's focus is actually on this Filson insulated packer coat. So stick around, like, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in a few minutes. So uh, I just picked up this packer. It's a made in the U.S. version. Uh, obviously all packers are made in the U.S. out of the Mackinac wool, but there's some uh, really distinguishing features on this jacket that you don't see on any of the other ones. Uh, it's got a buck, uh, belt, obviously, matching belt. Uh, cuffs with straps on them. The cotton lining on the inside. Uh, insulation on the inside. And then it's also double-breasted, uh, which is something that I've only seen two pictures online of that. Um, we got the shearling collar. The green tags, which I believe is a 90s or early 2000s thing. And it also has the leather Filson patch on the arm. So uh, I reached out to Filson. They're going to try and dig up some information on this. The, uh, the tag is actually missing on the inside here. Let's see. There's no tag except for the dry cleaning tag. So I'm not sure where it's actually going to be. It's got this quilted padding on the inside, uh, goes all the way down the arms, uh, just short of the very end here. Uh, we'll get a close-up shot and uh, see what you guys think. Cheers. So obviously the first thing we're going to look at is this beautiful shearling collar. Uh, this is real shearling. They cut it a fair bit shorter than the new ones. Uh, it's only about uh, maybe almost half an inch long if you pull really pull on it. It's that texture there. And uh, it's backed with the same material the jacket's made out of. So this must have been a 90s or 2005's jacket before they were sold to the most recent company they're with. Uh, so it's kind of got some inexpensive kind of things going on it, like all the cuffs, all the stitching is all single stitching. Uh, not any double except for up here on the shoulders. And it also only has uh, two pockets. They're, both are lined with kind of this, I don't know if it's like a cotton twill or something. Uh, no buttons on those pockets, no lining pockets on the inside, but it comes in this really, really nice, I'll lower you guys down here, it's really nice plaid, which is an awesome look. Uh, I really like this plaid. It's very similar to the plaid that just came out in the Packer coat, the new Packer coat that came out with this here. Really nice, only it's more red heavy than gray, but uh, you see maroon, red, creamy, white, black. Uh, so looking at the buttons, they're all the same uh, material, but they're this black matte plastic four hole buttons. Uh, the cuffs work. You can tighten those up if you want. Nice buttonholes, they work really good. They're, uh, they're stitched and then cut, uh, same as the new jackets and whatnot. I don't think they'll ever do cut and then sewn bucket buttons just because that's a little extra thing they don't need. And then another thing with this jacket, if I can get around here, is it's double-breasted this direction. So, obviously this is all one panel here. This is all one panel there. You can button it this way for us right-handed people. Or if you're wrong-handed, you can button it this way. If it tickles your fancy. So another thing you'll see is that this has a Filson leather tag on the shoulder, which is unique. Uh, they don't do this anymore. They only did that up to 2005, I believe. Um, 
it's kind of a nice detail, but you can tell it's just kind of a trying to push your branding, which is something I don't actually enjoy all that much. So if it wasn't being reviewed, I probably would have taken that tag off by now. <laughs> Sorry, Filson. Uh, another thing you can see compared to the normal jacket, see the pattern there, is that the knit on this is much fluffier, I would say. Like if you feel the Mackinac Cruisers, it's very solid, whereas this one has a fair bit of give to it. Uh, a little bit looser, bigger stitching pattern for this uh, check. Um, it doesn't quite, it's probably uh, not much bigger than the plaid on the original coat. Cause you can see, let's see there. On the end, how it has that stripe pattern. That's the pattern wrapping around the end. On here, eh, where's the camera? It's a little bit chunkier. You can see that insulation in there. It's just a quilt polyfill or something like that on the inside. I'll give you a show there. So obviously, you're really layered up in the front here, so it seems very, very warm. I've worn this a couple times, and really nice liner. Uh, another thing that's unfortunate for everyone that likes these jackets is the lack of pockets. There's no pocket on the back here. Uh, it down. You can see this belt with the sewn belt loops. Nice belt. But uh, yeah, there's no back pocket on this. So. And only two chest pockets on, or really pockets on the bottom here. Like two. We got one here, and one on the other side. But and you don't have hand warmer pockets, so I'm not sure where this design came from. It's very inconsistent with what Filson usually comes out with, which is quite a few kind of pockets and useful. Uh, not useful. I don't want to say this is a useless jacket. It's very warm. It's probably warmer than my double, but that's yet to be seen on the cold days. But um, obviously, very stylistic jacket and came out of that kind of 2000s, 1990s rebranding thing. Um, excuse me. But uh, other than that, very useful cuffs. I actually prefer these cuffs over the traditional cuffs because you can tighten them up without actually having to undo and you don't have this slit on the back that you have on this cuff because if you unbutton this to get your arm in you got all that gap there to get cold whereas here you got a solid cuff that you can tighten with a strap which very nice still so I'd go with that again uh shearling's nice I do like the longer stuff now just because it's a little puffier but this stands up really good uh Nicely lined pockets, uh, really easy to get your hands in and out, even with gloves on. They're not too, too small. Uh, probably about the same size as the Mackinac Cruiser. Well, this is more of just a interesting jacket review than it is a uh, actual product review, because I don't think they'll ever make this jacket again, but just something really interesting to own and collect. So if you guys are in the market for something like this, good luck finding it. But have a great day, you guys. Like and subscribe. Uh, let me know what else you guys want to see. Hat reviews coming up soon, and we're going to be doing some tin cloth here. So stick around, turn on your notifications, like and subscribe. We'll see you guys later.